You guys, I pulled a total rookie move. I planted this lettuce here in our garden thinking it would be fine for just one night before the chickens got in. And you can see they got a hold of it and just completely tore it up. So it's time to do some modifications here in the garden and set up a little bit of a frame that will protect the lettuce from the chickens and then we can modify it later on to help keep our veggies warm throughout the winter. So come take a peek as I try to turn this uh, batch of lemons here into some lemonade. Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog Farm. Well, I thought these low tunnels were the only way to go when I built them last year. They work just perfect for covering up our crops and letting them grow through the winter. But there's that shoulder time in the fall where we just need to keep the chickens out and it really doesn't work very well. You can see I've got some chicken wire on some of them and it just tears up the plastic and just didn't work very well. So I'm gonna try taking a different approach this year. Um, if all you need to do is keep your vegetables protected from the weather, then go ahead and take a look at the video clip that I put up above that talks about how we put this together last year. You know, the whole reason that we set up this YouTube channel is to share what we're doing here on our farm in hopes that it'll help others. And one way that you could help that happen is by clicking subscribe or like if this content works for you. It really does help a lot. It does help get our videos in front of other folks. So thank you for that. And thank you very much if you've already subscribed to the channel. You know, this low tunnel design worked really well for us last year. Uh, we raised quite a bit of herbs and lettuce and we just really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a new design that just only comes up about this high, has chicken wire on the inside and then we'll put plastic over the top of it when it does get cold to protect the plants from the frost. So we're gonna go give that a try. Miss Daisy really doesn't like the rain. Well, it's next day and rain has come in, but that's just fine because we're here in the shop and uh, we can stay out of it. Hopefully it's not going to affect the audio and we can get to work on version 2.0 that I have laid out in front of me. I went ahead and cut the pieces and kind of laid them out to see what they look like. And if you can imagine, this is all just going to fold up like a, a box wood or a carton um, moving forward. So what will result is about an 18 inch high covered bed. Once again, we're going to put chicken wire on the inside and then plastic on the outside to keep it from rubbing against each other and tearing. So pretty excited about it. All this wood that you see here is cut out from pallets. So you know, normally I would be really mindful of using this much wood for a project like this, but I'm really lucky. I have access to this pallet wood. It's left over from other projects that I've done, including building our harness wall, etc. I'll put a link up above so you can see that. But we're just going to go ahead and take this pallet wood and put it to work. So it's going to be hopefully super strong. Uh, it's going to be impossible for the wind to blow it around. It's going to keep the chickens out. Hopefully it's going to cover all the bases. So we'll get to attaching all the pieces and try assembling this thing. I used a Craig pocket jig to form all the joints for this low tunnel. It works great, just holds all the boards, presets all the hole locations, and you can just drill away. Um, it's pretty simple. No, uh, no, no big worries getting it done, and I just really enjoy using this tool. Makes things really, really simple.
well there you go I've got it set up just with clamps to go ahead and mock up to see what it's going to look like now the idea is that the chicken wire will go under here and then the plastic over the top so you know for winter time we're only going to grow really low growing stuff lettuce dill parsley that kind of stuff so we don't need anything really tall um, I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out I do want it to last for a while so this is pretty low cost pallet wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, paint it up and try to protect it the best I can. I spent the next two days painting all the wood on this project. I used Charleston Green, which is a black slash green that blends in really nice in the garden. There's a great history for it here in the area, but it just really lends itself to the garden. So we're gonna flash forward to two days later. Hey, Mr. T. Got something stuck in your teeth? Hey, Miss Sadie. I'm not going to surprise you. Huh? two chicken wire panels off camera I just really need to get this done and get it in so Diane and I are gonna go take this completed cover and go put it on the bed well there we go it's all mounted on you can see it's got the chicken wire on there it may be a little hard to see on the film but it'll work great it's plenty high for all the vegetables and we're just ready to roll with it so really pleased with the final product and uh, We'll have to put the game camera on here and see if those suckers try to get in here. See ya.